This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. What's up guys, Leon here, welcome back to my channel. Guys, before we continue with a big military EMP generator, I want to show you a gadget I ordered on AliExpress. As you might know, I love science toys. The one I will show you in a moment is definitely very spectacular. Guys, be sure to stay tuned until the end. I made the epic little short movie there. In the past years, we already tested some cool gadgets from AliExpress, like this little EMP jammer or the HF SSTC. What are still missing now is a Marx generator kit. It can be found in different variations on AliExpress, with thick stages, with 10 stages, and even with 20 stages. I decided to buy the 10 stage one, which is still quite affordable at about $70. As it is with AliExpress, shipping takes a little longer. But that doesn't matter, when the package arrives, we are happy. But what is a Marx generator? A Marx generator is a pulse generator with which we can generate short, high voltage pulses. It is named like the engineer Irvin Otto Marx, who first developed such generators in 1923. Let's see what's inside this package. We have resistors, screws, more screws, high voltage capacitors and some wire here. Last but not least, we have the black acrylic frame. I think we will use a cable to form the spark gap. The capacitors have a dielectric strength of 30 kV and a capacitance of 2 nanofarad. There are two different types of high voltage resistors in the package. The smaller one has a resistance of 1 mega ohm, the bigger one, of which however only two are present, has a resistance of 5 mega ohm. To run our Marx generator we need a good high voltage source. A DC flyback transformer from an old TV will be perfect. Since we always need a driver for a flyback transformer, I designed a PCB for the well-known CVS circuit. Etching or milling the PCBs by myself is just too complicated. The best solution is JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a PCB manufacturer that produces your own PCBs. You simply have to upload the Gerber file on JLC's website. There you can even choose a color. I always choose purple. Purple is sexy. And very important for your health, lead free. It only takes a few days, then the PCBs are already at your home. Take a look at this PCB. Just great. Let's assemble it. It looks good. But does it work? Look at this arc, there's some real power behind it. So the voltage source is now complete. I will now show you step by step how to assemble the generator. First, we mount a spacer at each hole of the base plate. We simply bend the legs of the capacitor around the thread. But it is important to leave the first two spaces on one side free. Then we simply remove the remaining wire. The two large 5 mega ohm resistors are connected to the first two spaces where no capacitor is attached. This is where the supply voltage will be applied later. The remaining 1 mega ohm resistors are attached between all other capacitors. For this we simply bend the legs around the thread again. For safety I still solder the resistors, but that is not necessary. On each spacer we mount another big spacer. Now only the spark gap is missing. To do this we remove the complete insulation from the enclosed wire and cut it into 18 pieces of equal length. With the soldering iron we solder a cable lock to each piece of the wire, but only on one side. I also put a piece of heat shrink tubing over each solder joint, but this is not necessary too. Last but not least we have to mount the wire with the cable lock on the spacer and bend the other end of the wire to a circle. I soldered all the circuit to avoid sharp edges and I really recommend it. If we want, we can still mount the second part of the acrylic frame on the generator, but I think the generator looks better without the second plate. The blue lettering doesn't really convince me. 
our Marx generator is finished. To run the generator, we need to attach the high voltage output from the flyback transformer to the lower two 5 mega ohm resistors. The high voltage output of the Marx generator is located on the upper and lower capacitor wire respectively, where are no part of the spark gap is attached. Are you ready for a test guys? That's definitely some serious banging. That's why I wear hearing protection. Ultraviolet protection glasses are also recommended. I think it is obvious that you should not be hit by the lightning. The maximum voltage of the generator is 300,000 volts. The energy of a single lightning is about 9 joules. That may not sound like much. However, at 300,000 volts an enormously high current can flow, which makes even 9 joules absolutely dangerous. Do you also think that the lightning looks like a lightning from a real thunderstorm? I think I have an idea. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little short movie. After I built a little Marx generator, I really want to build a bigger one. Guys, imagine 10 stage <laughs> Marx generator with these capacitors. That would be awesome. 2 kilojoules. But let's continue with the big military MP generator in the next video. Guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the entire video. Feel free to leave me a comment down below and then guys, we'll see us in the next video.